I have a very rare, entirely child-free day, so it's adventure time. I'm in Horton in Ribblesdale because I'm going to run the Yorkshire Three Peaks. Pennygent first and then heading over to Wernside and Ingleborough, about 24 miles and a whole lot of climb. <laughs> It should be a really good day for it weather-wise. 16 degrees, full cloud all day. The sun's just come out. <laughs> I've got a cap with me, I've put a little bit of cream in, but hmm, could be a hot one. <laughs> There's less than two miles to the peak of Pennigan. It's the shortest of the three. Let's get this out of the way and then head to the others. I'm wondering how busy it's going to be today. It's been fairly quiet so far, but I can see a steady stream of people up ahead. And it is the summer holidays. And Penny Gent on its own. It's a really nice 10k loop, so I can see lots of families out enjoying it. Oh, I need to concentrate because I'm on steps, but it's clouded back over. I actually think it's going to be the perfect weather for it today. So I'm so pleased about that. Because for a minute there, when I was climbing, it was so hot. I absolutely love this part of Pennigent. The drop off, the wind rolls up it, and so refreshing. It's just so beautiful. I'm appreciating the work of this <laughs> mini can builder a little bit dwarfed by the actual cans. <laughs> Peak one, done, <laughs> Penny Gent done. The view as you're descending Penny Gent is spectacular. Totally forgot to film most of that descent. Such a long, lovely, flowing descent to run. I was just enjoying running it. I think a really important part of any adventure like this is 
just to take a minute and stop and look back at where you've been and how far you've come especially when it's that beautiful So I've been going for nearly an hour, one peak done, heading off up here to carry on. The path down here um, just makes that a Penny Ghent really lovely 10k loop. But yeah, further for me today. So I'm gonna eat this time out. What a retro snack. I haven't had one of these for ages and I absolutely love them. <laughs> I normally bring healthier snacks like trail mix, apricots. <laughs> But today I've got a cheese sandwich and some chocolate bars. <laughs> well, go with what you fancy, right? One of the great things about doing this route is that it is so well waymarked. The Yorkshire Three Peaks, and even a stone, Three Peaks. So just heading over to Ribblehead now to see the beautiful viaduct and um, then up one side but one side's the biggest of the three peaks 736 meters so they're all quite small compared to what we've just been doing in scotland but my legs know i'm going up them nonetheless <laughs> i'm just at that point now where it feels like quite a big run <laughs> so you can see penny Ghent behind me and then at this point, you can see Ingleborough there and Wernside over there and they look really far away because <laughs> they're really far away. Penny Ghent is set on its own really, so there's quite a long run between Penny Ghent and Wernside and then Ingleborough and Penny Ghent on the way back. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying it, <laughs> just a bit of running with no climb, it's actually lovely and it's really quiet, I thought it might be busy but not many people out doing the three peaks today. I really like it when you can see where you're going and can just make out the Ribblehead Viaduct just over there. Yorkshire Three Peaks this way. While I would never ever advise coming out on your own into the countryside without having some way of navigating or knowing where you are, especially if conditions change, I am appreciating how well signposted it is. Normally I'd stop and have a quick check, but there's no need. I know I'm on track because of all these lovely signposts. Pretty technical here. I hadn't even thought about cows today. And I just nearly ran smack bang into a cow. I just came round a corner and it was there with horns. Um, so I'm just walking through really long grass on a really cambered hill to not be on the path so I can avoid them. Oh, grass has um, just flattened out a bit. Don't think there's any more cows. The bridge in the cow field is musical. M musical. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, so I'm going to run backwards and forwards over it and amuse myself. Amuse myself. 
Um, because <laughs> it's really fun. I'm so easy to please. I love that. I could do that all day. <laughs> There's a fair section on road now as I head to Ribblehead, so this is kind of the boring bit of the route, so I'm going to get this out of the way, get back on some trails and back on some hills. Uphill on tarmac literally has to be my least favourite type of running. Oh, where's the trails? <laughs> I've just decided that when I get to the Ribblehead Viaduct, I'll find somewhere nice to sit, it's so beautiful there and then I'll have my sandwich it's lunchtime and I've been going for about two hours now now I'm hungry I absolutely can't stand it when people ruin beautiful places in the Yorkshire Dales it's just stunning look at this what makes somebody think that that is okay so they've just bought some food from a van over there eating what they want and just chuck the rest out so I'll clear that up honestly it proper winds me up um, when I find a bin up here hopefully there'll be one at the snack bar or something I'll show you all the rubbish I've picked up it's so sad um, ugh, makes me cry The Ribblehead Viaduct. Just beautiful. One side, four and a half miles. So that's my path. I'm going to find somewhere in the shade by the viaduct for lunch. This will be my lunch spot. So I'll show you all the rubbish that I've collected when I'm finished um, because. There were no bins at the ice cream van or the fast food van and um, they didn't want to take the rubbish <laughs> so I insisted that they take the burger box because I couldn't run with it and I've agreed to run with the rest of the rubbish I've collected um, <laughs> apparently there's some political issue between national parks and Craven so nobody put bins here oh my goodness people just stop putting litter on the floor <laughs> anyway let's have some lunch so when I packed my bag, I really fancied cheese sandwiches. Um, not what I fancy right now, but I've eaten one anyway because I'm hungry. <laughs> I have a chocolate bar on the top of the next peak. Not a bad spot for lunch. I need to say goodbye to the viaduct now and carry on my climb. Onwards and upwards. So I have a very slight water issue in that I don't have enough. Um, I thought the lid was properly on my bottle and it wasn't, so I just probably lost half the bottle. 